What is up everybody? Welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we're going to be taking a deeper look into my favorite piano library that I use on a daily basis. I use it all the time, uh, really for sketching work, um, final products, really anything that uses a piano. This is the one library I will turn to. And you, you can see I've already have it pulled up, but it is the Cine Piano Library from Cine Samples. So first things first, that this library is recorded at the MGM scoring stage in Los Angeles by Cine Samples and um, it, it runs in Contact Player. So if you're looking for a piano library where you don't need to purchase the full version of Contact, um, you can certainly um, invest in Cine Piano and it will definitely do that job for you. Now you can see here, I have a bunch of other pianos here as well, but the one I feel, find myself coming back to over and over is Cine Piano. So there's three reasons why I really like this library. The first one is because of its just natural, beautiful sound. Um, and just kind of give you a bit of a clarification, this piano was recorded in the center of the Sony scoring stage. So the hall being um, kind of a medium size, like not too large, like a huge concert hall, but not super small, like a studio either. It, it's kind of a mid-size scoring stage. So the, the ambience, um, when, it, when the piano is recorded, you just get a really nice balance of the highs, the lows, the microphones used are really nice. Um, and yeah, just the overall ambience from the stage really complements the piano sound very well. So let me play a little bit of this patch and you can see kind of what it sounds like. All right, so hopefully that gives you a little bit of a sense of what the piano sounds like in its various ranges. I tried to play a little bit, you know, in the mid register, a bit in the low and a bit of the high as well. And you can hear that the overall balance of the piano is very natural and very balanced. So I, I think that's um, a really good feature of this library. So the sound quality is wonderful. Um, you know, the mics they used and just the position, positioning of those mics around the piano and how the piano reacts um, in the room is gorgeous. Number two is th this library actually ships with four different patches. So if we take a look here, the main Cine Piano patch is the one I've been playing, but we also have the classical patch here. We also have the cinematic patch and then the Rock Studio Grand. So um, if we just take a look at the classical for a second here, have a listen to this.
Okay, so you notice that this patch actually only has this one mic position. Um, so it's basically pre-recorded to actually make it sound uh, this one way. And what's really cool is you do have EQ options in case you wanted to, you know, increase the highs a little bit, have more definition, increase or decrease the lows and, and, and the mids as well. Um, but yeah, it, it just has a kind of a farther away setting, almost as if you're listening from the perspective of an audience member and the concert pianist is up on the stage at the very front of the hall. So the, the sound is a little bit more classical, a little bit more reverberant in general, has a really nice you know tone for classical pieces of music. Um, the third one is cinematic. Now this one is kind of the opposite where it's very, very close and very intimate. Have a listen to this. And just the natural tail um, and ambience of these samples for the cinematic patch for me is very, very beautiful. So um, I, I already think this library is quite versatile in that nature. You know, you have this general cinematic piano um, that works really well for tinkling backgrounds and just a very clear tone. The classical works a little bit better if you if you do want the piano to sit a little further back in the mix and you don't want it to be so upfront, right? Uh, the cinematic, on the other hand, works really well for solo passages. Um, and a very intimate sound where there's not too much going on in the mix. So already this is kind of like three pianos in one. Um, finally, we also have the Rock Studio Grand, and this patch kind of gives you, um, <laughs> it's kind of the opposite of the cinematic patch where it kind of sounds like this. Forgive that stupid F natural there, sorry. Um, but yes, you, you get the idea. So this one is a little more upfront. It's a little bit more in your face, right? It kind of punches you a little harder. So it literally, according to its name, Rock Studio Grand, it really sounds like a rock piano. And yeah, th these, these are um, the other three patches that come with the library, which gives you a very, very wide range of applications, which I really like. To be honest, I usually stick with just a cine piano patch um, for most of my work. Uh, but that, that actually leads me to my third point is that the cine piano patch itself really comes with a large dynamic range. And this is really, really cool. Like they, they record the softest softs. So if I play um, like a C major chord very, very quietly. Right, you hear how soft those layers are. Right, now if I play it as loud as possible. So you can really hear them banging the note, right? So the only downside to this is that, you know, sometimes when I'm playing, whether I'm improvising or, you know, um, doing a sketch or something like that, sometimes I accidentally activate those really accented high dynamic layers. So I actually have to go back in and tweak the MIDI data to make sure that I don't activate, you know, the, the banging um, notes there. So um, kind of, but, but you know, the point is that the dynamic range is definitely there. Now, if you really want to play a little bit louder and not have to worry about playing too quiet, then you can select the bias forte and then the curve actually shows you that it favors the higher values. So. There I'm, I'm playing 
you know, kind of with a medium velocity, not, not too hard, not too quiet. And you can hear that the notes are generally louder. If I click bias piano, So there I was trying to play a little bit quiet. Uh, sorry, I was trying to play the same the same velocity, kind of in the middle, not too loud, not too quiet. And that's what bias piano sounds like. So it favors the softer dynamic layers. Linear, of course, is just, you know, completely linear. So you get the softs and the louds accordingly. And then here in the character, area, you can also choose if you want a more intimate sounding, which pulls in the biased piano curve. And then the other way around gives you more of that aggressive tone, which is the more biased forte. So kind of two ways you can affect the, uh, the curve there, which is really cool. And then if you really want to disable the FFF layer, right? So if, if you feel it yourself hitting those higher banging notes too much, you can just take that away. Even Mike Patty says in, uh, himself in the video, like, you know, take this off if you don't really need it, because these are like these FFF layers are only reserved for absolute moments of, you know, heavy accents or huge um, climaxes, those types, types of things. Other than that, you probably want to stay away from that. So you can just disable that triple F layer there. Um, and other than that, that that is uh, that's why I love Cine Piano. And, you know, I wouldn't recommend a, a sample library if I didn't use it. But Cine Piano is literally the first library I turn to when I'm using a piano library, when I'm sketching, if I'm adding detail to a cue and I need some extra tinkling effects. You know, I already have my harp in there. Let's say I already have some woodwinds doing stuff. Um, I just need that extra little bit of texture from another instrument. Cine Piano is usually what I turn to. So just to recap, um, the sound is magnificent. From the Sony scoring stage and the mice they use, the positioning, that's all really nice. Uh, number two, it comes with all these other patches, which gives you a lot more versatility, even though in the specific patches themselves, you can't really tweak the settings too much. Um, the preset sound that they give you is beautiful. And then finally, the dynamic range is quite wide. So uh, you, can, you can choose to have um, all those dynamic layers activated equal um, at equal amounts. Or you can have more piano samples, or you can have more forte samples, and you can tweak these as well. So I think it's just a really nice library that's not overly complicated because you have enough options to give you that flexibility, but it's not, it's not too, um, it's not too barren either where you're just locked into a specific sound without being able to tweak it at all. Now, two things before you go, uh, number one, please let me know if uh, you have Cine Piano and if so, do you use it on a regular basis? Do you like this library? Or if you don't have Cine Piano, what, what piano libraries do you use? And please leave them as a comment below because I'd love to know you know, what, what libraries you prefer and why. If you like the sound, if you like the playability, if you just like the amount of patches it comes with, um, all that good stuff. Uh, let's let's talk about our favorite piano libraries and um, this is a very safe place to do that, I promise. Um, secondly, if you're a composer and you write orchestral music or you use contact libraries or things like that of that nature and you make music, um, I wanna point you to my 10 steps for a clear orchestral sound. It's, a, it's basically a free guide that you can download to follow um, the next time you're working on an orchestral production or a mock-up where you're trying to make it very clear and make it sound very detailed and rich, um, basically it's, it's 10 of my best tips for giving you like a good foundation to getting a clear orchestral sound when you're working on your next mock-up. So things like arrangement, um, orchestration, mixing, that's all tackled in this little short PDF. So if you want to, um, you know, print it out and have it next to you when you're working on your next project, um, I think it's something that will definitely help you. So it's absolutely free. Just download it in the description box below and you can um, access it right away. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I'm looking forward to hearing what uh, piano libraries you prefer. So let me know. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.